Hey guys, it's Maddie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my new and updated skincare routine because since my last one, basically everything's changed. I think I only use one or two of the same products as I did then. So there are some steps in the routine that I only do morning and there's some steps that I only do in the night. So um, when I'm editing the video, I'll clarify what those AM products are and what the PM products are. And at the end of the video, I'll also tell you how you can kind of tweak my skincare routine to make it fit your skin type. So I have a combination skin type, so that means I get oilier down the T-zone, I tend to break out on my chin, but then the outer perimeters of my face are quite just normal skin, like I don't really break out in those areas. But you know, some people have oily skin, some people have dry skin, some people have sensitive skin. So let's just get straight into it and we'll make a start. It is hot in here. All right, so. First, I'm gonna put my headband on. This just keeps my stupid little hairs out of the way. Otherwise, they get super curly and ugly. Now, obviously, I don't have any makeup on right now because it's morning. It doesn't really matter because in the morning and the night, you still need to cleanse. Like, that's the same step either way. So, my cleanser that I'm using at the moment is the Dermalogica Ultra Calming Cleanser. The reason I love this is because it's for super sensitive skin, which I don't really have. But sometimes when I've got a lot of breakouts, um, a heavy cream cleanses too much or a gel cleanser is just going to dry my skin out. And this one's also great for people with... With super sensitive skin because you don't actually have to use water on it so I'll show you what the consistency is like so it's like a kind of it's in between a gel and a cream it's kind of like a mousse almost so you can wet your face before or you can just leave your face dry and you're just going to I always kind of put it on both hands and then I can take it over my eyes take it all over my face and the best part about this cleanser is you don't actually need any water to remove it you can just use like a towel or some cotton pads or something like that believe it or not but some people's skin is so sensitive that they can't even take water but I can so I'm just going to wash that off now and then while my face is a bit damp I'm just gonna go right ahead and do a second cleanse because you always need to cleanse twice and that's also the cleanser that I use to take off my makeup. It doesn't do a great job of like heavy makeup. Usually you need to use something to take it off before. I just use micellar water sometimes, but just everyday makeup, it does a great job. And the reason you need to cleanse twice is you need to kind of lift the dirt with one cleanse and then wash off the dirt with the second cleanse, just like how you shampoo twice. All right, now the second product I use, I only use in the morning, but I do use it every morning. It's a form of exfoliant. It's called the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. By the way, in this skincare routine, I don't only use one brand. I use like all sorts of different brands. So the Microfoliant is a really, really fine powder and it's activated with water. Very, very gentle. I just find that I really notice on the days that I don't use that. I will find I get a bit congested along the jawline. So what I do, I just do a little like 20 cent piece size. I mix it up with some water in my hands because you've got to activate it with the water. And it kind of lathers up like that and then I just put it on my face. Now the granules in this is super fine. You can't even really feel them, so you feel like you're not doing anything, but trust me, it is. So I really like to work it in the areas where I know that I get a bit congested, like along my jawline and my nasolabial folds, which is those kind of creases next to your nostrils, which is where a lot of people get blackheads. And this is great for sensitive skin as well. And just gonna kind of wash that off. All right, next I'm going to use my Mario Badescu facial spray. And this is really nice if you leave it in the fridge, but I never do because like I don't have a fridge in my bathroom. And that's just kind of going to calm the skin after the bit of exfoliating. I just use it as a toner. Now, moving on to masks. This is something that I would do twice a week usually. Can you play not to so I start off with the Tarte Friction Stick, which I love. Usually I'm so hesitant to buy like makeup brands skincare because I'm like, yeah, yeah, right. Like you focus on makeup, leave the skincare to the pros. But I love this. The only thing I don't like about it, you can see that I've kind of dug out because you're meant to go like this, but I don't find how it's very hygienic to kind of, you know, keep going back on your skin like that every time you do this. But what I do, I just kind of dig like that. 
and then I just the areas where I know I get congested and break out or like my pores are looking a bit dirty which is always always my nose for me I'm just going to apply that so this one's got like little exfoliating beads as well so I'm just going to work those into my skin and it's also got charcoal in it and charcoal is like a miracle product for blackheads and clogged pores because it's like a magnet for the dirt that's in your pores. It really just sucks everything out, which is amazing. By the way, the redness on my chin is actually sunburn that started peeling, they're not pimples. I've only got one pimple on this side. Now, best thing about this product is, like I said, it doubles as a mask. So I'm going to leave this on for about 10 minutes while it does the good stuff. So I'll be back in 10 minutes. Okay, now I have had that on for a good 10 minutes. I'm just going to wet a face cloth and wipe it off. If you felt like you needed a little bit of extra exfoliation, you can just like wet your fingers and go like that and you'll feel that you can really scrub all the dirt out of those pores but I'm not gonna do that. Now my pores are squeaky clean which is the goal. Now the next step is another mask but rather than taking stuff out like the past mask past mask, <laughs> previous mask did. It's more about putting good stuff into the skin like vitamins. It's just really great for hydration and just makes the skin feel instantly plump and fresh. It's like the perfect mask to use before a night out, even after a night out. It is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. I absolutely swear by this. And the great thing about it, I usually use about that much, like a 10 cent piece size. Sorry, I just realized I'm working in Aussie coin sizes. I don't know any other queen sizes from different countries. So I'm just going to kind of apply that liberally all over my face, just avoiding the skin around my eyes. But the greatest thing about this mask is it also doubles as a night cream. So if you don't have the time to kind of sit around and wait for 10 to 15 minutes for it to kind of do all the good stuff it needs to do, you can just kind of pop it on and leave it on as a night cream. Obviously, it's going to stop working after like 20 minutes because that's all it's active for. But because it's so nice and thick, you wake up and your skin just feels so nice and nourished and it is normal for your skin to feel a little bit tingly with this one because it's so active but even sensitive skins can use this one um just obviously watch it if it starts to feel like it's absolutely burning or if you get any like really red kind of skin take it off and with this mask i'm just gonna leave it on for about i'll actually leave this one on for 15 minutes but for the video purpose and because i'm freaking sweaty because it's so hot in here i'm just gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then i'll be back all right guys so now that this has been on for about 15 minutes i'm gonna take it off i've just got a wet face cloth here oh my god that feels so good okay now after all of that masking and wiping it off my face is feeling a bit not raw but just a bit funny because of the cloths so just gonna give it a spray with the rose water because it's nice and calming. Now, the next product is, I just can't recommend it enough. I am obsessed with it, it fixed my skin. Let me just show a couple of pics of what my acne used to be like. Um, so yeah, quite bad. You guys would have seen how bad it is if you watch my makeup tutorials as well because at the start of my videos before I have any foundation on, you can definitely see it. So this product absolutely saved my skin. I also used to get a bit of like acne on my the back of my shoulders, but ever since I started using this, it stopped. So it is the brand The Ordinary. It's called the Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. It says for blemish prone skin. And the best part about it is I think it's about, uh, I don't even think it's 15 Australian dollars. It is so cheap and I'm pretty sure it um, ships worldwide from their website, which I will link below because I forgot what it's called. But it's like in this little glass vial, comes in like a little dropper kind of form. And what I do morning and night, I just put like one drop on my finger and anywhere that I've got acne i just kind of like spot treat it with that i know that i always break out on my chin and my jaw and i know that my pores on my nose tend to get very clogged and the reason salicylic acid is just freaking amazing is because it's the only kind of acid that actually gets into your pores and cleanses those so there's a lot of like different fruit acids and things like that ahas that just kind of they do a great job of kind of breaking down dead 
skin and like surface stuff, but the only thing that can actually get into your pores, like the only acid that can get into your pores and cleanse them is the salicylic acid. So it is absolutely amazing and I just love when a product does what it's actually meant to do. So I cannot recommend that product enough. If you've got an oily skin type, feel free to use it over your whole entire face. It's honestly amazing. And the next thing I'm going to use is a serum. It's from the brand Aspect, which is a good one. They use it in like, um, uh, like skincare clinics and stuff for like cosmetic stuff. I just said stuff like five times in one sentence. It's called the Exfol L15 and I just pump, I just do like one and a half little pumps on my face once a night. This is lactic acid, so it's a very high Hydrating acid because I don't use the salicylic acid all over my face I do tend to like to use the lactic all over my face because if I do get any kind of like I've no congestion under the skin that might come out I just find that this keeps it away which is ideal next after all the exfoliating and acid products I'm going to use a hydrating product so here from that same brand the ordinary I have the hyaluronic acid 2% with vitamin B5 I use this morning and night one, two, three drops, and I apply this all over my face. This is a serum, it's not sticky or anything like that, so it's great for oily skin that gets dehydrated because obviously you use it instead of a facial oil, and I don't like using facial oils in the summer because they're just too heavy. So that's a great one, it's like an it's like a serum for hydration without being a thick oil. So if you've got oily skin great for you. Last but not least, I'm um, moving on to moisturizing. So here I have my Skinstitute Moisture Defense Ultra Dry. This is for ultra dry skin, obviously, um, but I love it. I do like quite a heavy moisturizer because I just love the feeling of being hydrated. So this is good for dry skin, sensitive skin. Combination skin can get away with using it, but I wouldn't use it on an oily skin because it is quite oil heavy. The brand Skinstitute does have some lighter products for oily skin. It's actually a great brand for acne skin and oily skin so obviously I do this morning and night and apply it on my neck as well because your neck gets just as dehydrated as your face so that all rubbed in yep okay guys that's it that is the end of my skincare routine I know it seems like there's a trillion million steps that there are a lot of steps in my skincare routine because I just love looking after my skin and as someone with quite problematic skin I am very diligent with my skin and I try to kind of do the best that I can work with what I've got now um, if you've got an oily skin you could use this whole routine probably the only thing that you would change is instead of the ultra calming cleanser that I used at the start you would use a more gel based cleanser because that's really going to kind of dissolve the excess oil on your skin and the moisturizer you just use a lighter moisturizer so try to use a moisturizer that's you know like oil free or just more water than oil for a dry skin you could use everything that I used but probably instead of either the salicylic acid or the lactic acid serum you would just use an oil like a rosehip oil or something like that you could definitely use the ultra calming cleanser otherwise you could use a cream cleanser they're great for dry skins as well for a sensitive skin you can use everything that I use today but see how your skin goes with the Tarte product the um, friction stick because it is quite granular see how you go with using two acids if I were you and I had a sensitive skin I'd probably just stick to spot treating your pimples with the salicylic acid and I'd leave the lactic acid to the side and I'd probably get something like a redness relief kind of serum so I hope that this kind of helped you guys out a lot I hope that I introduced you to some new brands or taught you about some new products what to use in your skincare routine even if you don't use these particular brands like you know I was saying about the charcoal kind of exfoliation and mask if you find another brand that you like better or it's cheaper go right ahead so I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it lets me know what you guys like to see and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content I do try to post some skincare videos as well as makeup routines so yeah keep your eyes peeled for that and i will see you next week for another video thanks for watching guys